adjust a achromatic electro pneumatic positioner. First we'll check the position of where it is at the moment. And putting a 4 to 20 milliamp signal. This one's quite close but not quite accurate. Remove the lid. We've got two adjustments, the zero and the span. We've got the knurl wheel for the zero adjustment. You have the span adjustment here, which is adjusted with a screw at the end here. And plus for increasing the span from zero to 90, or minus to decrease it. On the cam, you've got a zero mark. 25%, 50%, 75% and 100% to help you set the positions. So we'll go from 0 to 8 milliamp and on the cam it's marked, it's not stroking enough but it's consistent from each position, so I'm suspecting that the zero is not correct. So we can adjust the zero. And then just tracks it until the gauge just slowly drops away but goes to zero. Rapid drop means your zero is probably too far away. Now we'll go up the scale again. Eight, sixteen, twelve, sixteen, twenty. That seems quite substantially better. Coming back down. Okay, more than happy with that. But just to show you the span adjustment, you've got a positive and negative. So increase your span, decrease your span. So I'll go up to the top end and decrease the span by moving this towards the negative. You can see the indicator moving away. still got pressure on the gauge there. Now if I reset this, as you can see now, I have not got 90 degree travel. So we'll go through the procedure once again. Now we'll have to set both ends. So we've got to increase the span. So we'll unscrew this to push it across towards the positive. Back Went off too early again. Repeat the procedures I just showed before. Gently go into the zero. Not quite enough span at this stage, so we'll increase that again. And we'll have to go back to zero and reset.
it's a case of checking your positions going up and back down also. And complete. That's how you calibrate this positioner.